Hi, I'm Pedro Pascal, and this is my Casillero del Diablo Q&A. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are really excited about everything we're doing with Casillero del Diablo. So thank you very much. Thank you. We have a few questions that we're sure all your fans are going to be happy to be able to hear about. Okay. Um, so we're going to start easy. Mm -hmm. Date and place of birth. Santiago, Chile. Um, date. Yeah, of course. Google it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Best childhood memory. Cuchufli con manjar en la playa de los enamorados. Ah, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. Y la paleta. <laughs> On a personal level, uh, the best and the worst of this last year. The best of the year has been family and friends. And the worst of the year is to not have access to all family and friends. How have you kept yourself busy during lockdown? Any new hobbies? Unfortunately, no new hobbies. I didn't learn how to bake bread. I didn't learn how to cook. I, 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 I went back to terrible eating habits. Um, but back to having very long conversations on the phone. Okay. Like high school. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do to relax? I will uh, take a bath. Okay. Um, and uh, I'd say meditate, but I don't meditate. You would like to meditate. I would like to I think about <laughs> meditating. <laughs> okay. You're about to be shipped off to a deserted island to film for a year. Uh -huh. What would your last proper meal and drink be before you leave? What would my drink be? It's a really hard question. No idea. You know, I can't think of anything. <laughs> mm. I, I would have um, red wine and ice cream. Okay, okay. That's a creative answer, but we'll take it. Um, location that you've enjoyed the best while filming? This one isn't bad, um, Santiago, Chile, because I get to work and see my family. Um, and uh, I really like Croatia. Any particular co-star that could always make you laugh? Yes. Um, Kristen Wiig. Mm -hmm. Um, not many people know her for being funny. I'm just kidding. That's a bad joke. I'm not as funny as she is. Um, we had a great time laughing on the set of uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Who would your ideal guests be at a dinner party? My family and friends. Okay. And do you have a family nickname? I do. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Let's just say that if I ended up growing up here, I would still be that name. Okay, okay. So maybe it's good that you didn't. Um, any piece of advice that you would give your younger self, if you could, obviously? I would tell um, my younger self to be yourself at any cost. How would you describe yourself in three words? Indecisive. Mm -hmm. Um loyal and um, <laughs> indecisive <laughs> <laughs> lazy little lazy okay okay lazy. so I, I, I idle idle okay let's say idle I think you've given me a hint to the answer to this question but are you an early bird or a night owl I'm neither. <laughs> I like to go to bed early and I hate waking up in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, any song stuck in your mind right now? Yeah. Weirdly. There's something I love about coming to Chile. Whenever I listen to the radio, it's always very nostalgic. And I was hearing, um, I was listening to a song by Peter Gabriel called Don't Give Up. Oh, yeah. And that's been in my head ever since I heard it. Don't give up. Okay. Where would you go if you were invisible? Everywhere. <laughs> Favorite movie quote? You know, there's a quote from uh, a movie called Paris is Burning. And it's the very last line of the movie. 
if you shoot your arrow and it goes real high, hooray for you. <laughs> your most treasured possession. This glass of wine. Okay, great. Name an actor you admired growing up. Whoopi Goldberg. And a movie that you can't stop yourself from watching. You know, um, do you remember Peggy Sue Got Married? It's a Francis Ford Coppola movie, Kathleen Turner, Nicolas Cage. And I guess it's a, it shouldn't be on the obscure side, but anyway, it's from the 80s, and whenever I turn it on, I, I, I watch it all the way to the end, every single time I see it. <laughs> Something you wish you were good at. I wish I could play soccer. <laughs> A movie that makes you cry. The Elephant Man. Favorite social network. I don't think I have one, sorry. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I just, uh, I just want to fly. Okay. Just fly around. Who do you consider a legend in your own life? Um, I, like I said before, I was very, in, I was good at literature, so I liked to read a lot. And uh, when I was 18, I read my first book by James Baldwin. It's called Another Country, and that um, I think set sort of like a very um, uh, big moral compass and moral understanding of not just people, but of the country that I lived in and was raised in. So I would say James Baldwin. Okay. Is there anything you would like to say to your fans? Uh, love you. <laughs> <laughs>